Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase or decrease the project tempo globally in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and it sounds like this. As you probably already know, if you want to increase the tempo, we go down over here in the transport, double click the number, and just change it to whatever you want. It's 93. Now, let's make it slower to 80. And now it sounds like this. Or we can make it faster by changing it to 110. And it sounds like this. But we could also change the rate, which is the knob right next to it. Right here, could bring it down to make it slower. Or bring it up to make it faster. Or double click it to put it back to normal. Now this is pretty simple if we're dealing with a track or project with no tempo changes in it, like this one. But let's say we have some tempo changes going through it and some complicated ones. So we put our cursor at bar one, type shift C, and we can insert a tempo change right here. But let's leave it at 93. But let's choose this checkbox. Gradually transition tempo to next marker. So now if we add another tempo marker later, let's put one at bar five and set this to 120. Now the tempo changes from 93 to 120 gradually. And at bar nine, let's go back to the original tempo, which is 93. Now it's going to go gradually from 93 to 120 and back down to 93, which you can see better if we go to the view menu and choose tempo envelope. And we can see the envelope right here of our tempo. And we could treat this like any other envelope in Reaper. We could add different changes along the way, but let's keep it simple as it changes from 93 to 120 and back down to 93. But now, let's say we want to globally change the tempo, make it faster or slower overall. It's going to be complicated to double click the tempo markers and change them one at a time. This one, then this one, and so on. So instead, we could do it globally using an action. Let's go to the action menu, show action list, and let's type in tempo increase. There's a bunch of actions right here to increase the tempo globally by 0 0.001, 0 0.01, 0 0.1, and 1 beats per minute. Let's keep it simple and choose this action. If we trigger it with the enter key, increase the tempo on all the tempo markers by one beats per minute. So instead of 93, it's 94, and instead of 120, it's 121. And the same over here. So we can increase it one beat per minute each time we trigger this action. And we do the same thing by decreasing it. Type in tempo, decrease. We get the same actions over here but in the opposite direction. So we could decrease all the tempo markers by one beat per minute. Now it's important to note when we increase it by specific beats per minute, it's not very accurate as the difference between 93 and 94 is not the same as the difference between 120 and 121. So if we want to be more accurate, 
and keep each change in proportion, we should choose the percentage options, like decreasing it 1% or increasing it 1%. So if we trigger this action, it increases all the tempos by 1%, as we can see right here. And obviously, the numbers won't be rounded off, but they're more accurate than using beats per minute, as it changes each one by percentage. Go up. or down. But there's one other option I should show you, which is even more flexible. Let's undo all this. And if we just type in tempo and scroll to the top, there's this action right here. Adjust entire tempo envelope. And if we choose this, it opens up this separate dialog, which is going to change the tempo by comparing it to the current tempo. So in this situation, our project starts off at 93 beats per minute. But we can change the target right here. And if we do it by beats per minute, it'll work like this. We could change this to 100, which will add 7 beats per minute to all of them. Hit Apply. And it changed the first one to 100, but change the second one to 127 because you've raised it by that amount. But again, to be more accurate and keep our tempos in proportion, we should probably use this option by percentage. But we can still change the initial tempo by beats per minute. So if we change this to 100, it's going to change all of them by about 7.5%. It's going to change the first one to 100, but change the second one in proportion to that value. So the numbers aren't as rounded, but they're more accurate to keep our tempos in proportion. So now the whole song is faster, but it keeps the tempo changes in proportion, like this. Or well, we can slow it down, to 85, and it does the same thing again. Now we start at 85, but the tempo change is still in proportion to what the original change was, like this. So I find this dialog to be the most flexible way of changing our tempos either up or down, but keeping the changes in proportion. So that's pretty much it. That's how to increase or decrease the project tempo globally in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.